All India Radio presents Morning News. Good morning, I'm Valsa Williams. The headlines. Campaigning for the second phase of Lok Sabha elections in full swing, voting for 97 constituencies in 12 states and one union territory on Thursday. Repolling being held in four polling centers of Naxal infested Gadchiroli Chimur Lok Sabha constituency in Maharashtra. Social Democrats Party wins general elections in Finland. Indian squad for the upcoming Cricket World Cup to be announced today. And in IPL, Delhi Capitals defeat Sunrisers Hyderabad by 39 runs at Hyderabad. Electioneering has reached its peak for the second phase of Lok Sabha elections as only two days are left for the campaigning to end. 97 constituencies spread over 12 states and one union territory will go to polls in the second phase on Thursday. Top leaders of various political parties are leaving no stone unturned to woo the voters. Senior BJP leader and Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed rallies at Kathua in Jammu and Aligarh and Muradabad in Uttar Pradesh yesterday. Mr. Modi said his government is committed to eradicating terrorism, corruption and poverty, while the opposition parties want to remove him. Today, BJP President Amit Shah will address a public meeting at Gir Somnath in Gujarat. He will also hold a roadshow at Banas Kantha in the state. Congress President Rahul Gandhi will address a rally at Fatehpur Sikri constituency in Agra in Uttar Pradesh today. More from our correspondent. BJP leaders Rajnath right Singh, Dr. Mahima Pandey, Mahesh Sharma, including others, will participate in rallies and meetings at Mathura, Patepu Sikri, Budayu, Rampur, and other, at other places. DSP Supremo Mayavati is related to address meetings at Aligarh and Amroha. Samar Bali Party President Akhilesh Yadav will campaign in Kafgan and Muradabad today for party candidates. MS Yadav for AIR News reporting from Aligarh. Congress General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi Vajra held a roadshow at Silchar in Assam yesterday. She said Congress granted special status to Assam, but the BJP removed it after assuming power. In the second phase, voting will be held in all 39 constituencies of Tamil Nadu. Other parliamentary constituencies are 14 in Karnataka, 10 in Maharashtra, 8 in Uttar Pradesh, 5 each in Assam, Bihar and Odisha, 3 each in Chhattisgarh and West Bengal, 2 in Jammu and Kashmir and 1 each in Manipur, Tripura and Puducherry. Seven-phase polling was announced for the 543-member Lok Sabha. A voter turnout of 69.43% was recorded in the first phase. Counting of votes for all the phases will be taken up on the 23rd of May. In Maharashtra, re-polling is being held today in four polling centers of Naxal-infested Gadchiroli Chimur Lok Sabha constituency. Voting which began at 7 a.m. will continue till 3 p.m. An election commission official said re-poll is taking place at Vatali, Garadevada, Garadevada Pusosoti and Garadevada Vangeturi. A report. The State Election Commission had ordered re-polling in these four polling centers as polling parties could not reach the centers due to Naxal attack threat. An encounter took place between security forces and Naxals in Garchuli when a polling party was returning on polling day on Thursday evening. The Naxal affected district also witnessed IED blasts at two other places. Today, elaborate security arrangements have been made and polling process will continue till 3 in the afternoon. Shailesh Patil, AIR News, Mumbai. News Services Division of All India Radio is broadcasting a special live program, Janadesh 2019, on the developments related to the general elections 2019. Tune in to the FM Gold channel of AIR from 4 or 5 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. every day till the announcement of results to listen to this special program. <music> The Supreme Court is scheduled to hear a plea today challenging the Election Commission's ban on the release of a biopic on Prime Minister Narendra Modi till the general elections are over. A bench headed by Chief Justice Ranjan Gogoi had on Friday agreed to hear the plea, which has been filed by the biopic's producers. The poll panel had on Wednesday banned the screening of the biopic during the current poll period, 
saying that any such film that subserves the purpose of any political entity or individual should not be displayed in the electronic media. The Supreme Court is scheduled to hear a plea today filed by BJP MP Minakshi Lekhi seeking contempt action against Congress President Rahul Gandhi for misquoting the Apex Court order in connection with the Rafale deal. The plea filed before a bench headed by Chief Justice Ranjan Gogoi on Friday had said that Mr. Gandhi attributed his personal remarks to the top court and tried to create prejudice. On Wednesday, the Apex Court had dismissed preliminary objections raised by the Centre that documents on which it claimed privilege cannot be relied upon to re-examine the verdict in the Rafale deal. The National Investigation Agency, NIA, has arrested the fifth accused, Irshad Ahmad Rishi, in connection with a terror attack on the CRPF group in 2017 at Lethpura village in Pulwama district of Jammu and Kashmir. The attack was carried out by three terrorists belonging to jaish e Muhammad. Five CRPF personnel were martyred in the attack and all the three terrorists were killed in the encounter. Finland's leftist Social Democrats has recorded a razor-thin victory in yesterday's general elections, holding off the far-right Finns party. With 100% of ballots counted, the Social Democrats, led by Antti Rinne, bagged 40 seats in the 200-member parliament, while the Finns party picked up 39 seats. The National Coalition Party claimed 38 seats, with the ruling Centre Party winning 31 seats. The remaining seats were won by other parties. The Social Democrats will head a government for the first time in 16 years, though it has been a junior coalition member since then. Pakistan has released another 100 Indian fishermen as a goodwill gesture. The fishermen were released on Saturday as part of the second batch of 360 Indian prisoners Pakistan has promised to set free in four phases. The first batch of 100 Indian fishermen was released on the 7th of this month. Sources said the fishermen released from Malir Jail in Karachi were taken to Lahore by train. They will be handed over to the Indian authorities at the Wagha border today. The Bhutan government will place the bill for ratification of the Bangladesh-Bhutan-India-Nepal-BBIN initiative for road and rail connectivity at its upper Senate. Briefing media on the occasion of Bhutan's Prime Minister Dr. Lote Shering's visit to Bangladesh, Foreign Secretary of Bangladesh Shahidul Haq told reporters that BBIN is a big initiative in the region for improving rail and road connectivity and he expressed the hope that the bill will be passed by the Bhutanese parliament soon. For quick news updates, follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. The proposed strike by pilots and engineers of the cash-strapped jet airways has been deferred in view of today's meeting between the airline management and the State Bank of India. This was informed by the National Aviators Guild, the Union for Jet Airways Pilots. The two sides have been discussing a 1,500 crore rupee loan since last month as part of a rescue deal. Though the loan has been approved, the funds are not yet released. Yesterday, more than 1,000 pilots and engineers of the airline had decided to stop flying from midnight, in effect grounding the airline. Over 1,100 pilots are meeting in Mumbai today to discuss the situation. Five persons have so far been arrested in an SSC paper leak at Bhivandi in Thane district of Maharashtra. Among those arrested are two private coaching class owners, while two others involved are on the run. The Algebra, Geometry, Science 1 and 2 and History papers were leaked by the accused. Deputy Commissioner of Police Bhivandi Ankit Goel said around a dozen students, including 10 girls, who got the leaked papers on WhatsApp are also being interrogated. President Ramnath Kovind today remembered Marshal of the Air Force Arjun Singh on his birth centenary. In a tweet, Mr. Kovind said, Redoubtable Chief of the Indian Air Force during the 1965 war, World War II hero, post-retirement diplomat, the first Air Force officer to wear five stars, Marshal Arjun Singh remains an Indian legend. West Bengal is celebrating Bengali New Year's Day today. People in large numbers are visiting Dakshineshwar and Kalikat temples in early morning. Governor Keshwinath Tripathi and Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee have greeted the people on the occasion. More from our correspondent. People are wishing each other saying Shuvo Navavarsho and exchanging sweets and greetings. 
ट्रेडर्स ओपन न्यू बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट विच इज नोन एज हलखता बेंगाली न्यूज पेपर है कम आउट विद स्पेशल सप्लीमेंट टेलीविजन चैनल आर एयरिंग स्पेशल मॉर्निंग कल्चरल प्रोग्राम ऑन द ऑकेशन ऑन द ईव ऑफ इलेक्शन कैंडिडेट्स आर यूजिंग द डे फॉर रीचिंग आउट टू वोटर्स पर्सनली टू सेंड दे आर गुड विशेष अरिजीत चक्रवर्ती ए आई आर न्यूज कोलकाता Team India's 15-member squad for the forthcoming Cricket World Cup will be announced at a press conference in Mumbai today. The committee of administrators, along with office bearers, had decided on the date during a meeting last week. The press conference will precede a meeting between the five-man national selection committee led by M S K Prasad, skipper Virat Kohli, and chief coach Ravi Shastri. The 12th edition of the World Cup, to be hosted by England and Wales, begins on the 30th of next month. In IPL cricket, Delhi Capitals defeated Sunrisers Hyderabad by 39 runs at Hyderabad last night to go second in the points table behind Chennai Super Kings. Put into bat, Delhi posted 155 for seven, riding on skipper Shreya Sayer's 45 and 40 by New Zealand's Colin Munro. In reply, Hyderabad were bundled out for just 116 in 18.5 overs, courtesy a stunning bowling performance. Kagiso Rabada scalped four wickets and gave away just 22 runs in 3.5 overs. Today, third-placed Mumbai Indians will host bottom dwellers Royal Challengers Bangalore at eight in the evening. The News Services Division of All India Radio and its weekly bilingual live phone-in program, Public Speak, will bring you a discussion tonight on awareness about autism. This can be heard on FM Gold Channel and additional frequencies from 9:30 p.m. And now for an overview of today's newspapers it's over to Subhadra Ramachandran. Thank you Balsa. Elections and campaigning continue to hold top space in the press. Opposition raises doubts over EVMs, seeks paper trial is the lead in the Hindustan Times. Opposition to move Supreme Court again for 50% paper trail verification headlines the Hindu. BJP to get thrice as seats Congress will win the Asian age courts Prime Minister Modi in its lead at 670 crore rupees BSP has biggest bank balance among parties notes the times of india won't let jammu and kashmir dynasties divide india the pioneer courts the pm while the hindu cites national conference and pdp asking why did bjp back muftis pak hopes for talks post poll pm says crushed its nuclear threat the indian express reports on mr modi's rallies in khatua and aligarh KG Rival hints at softening terms of pact with Congress observes the Times of India. Economic news also gets prominent coverage. Crucial Monday, jet management to push lenders for interim funds states the Hindu Business Line. US company London firm backing Goyal's bid to reboard jet notes the Economic Times in its lead story. The tax department may pitch for lower target in budget. CBDT feels 30% growth in income tax not feasible, writes the Business Standard. The financial paper no 344 infrastructure projects show cost overruns of 3.16 lakh crore rupees and finally discounts planned for consumers who seek bills at shops reports the Hindustan Times of cash incentives planned by the union government as part of attempts to expand the GST base and increase compliance and with that it's back to you Balsa thank you subhadra now before we end the bulletin the headlines once again Campaigning for the second phase of Lok Sabha elections in full swing, voting for 97 constituencies in 12 states and one union territory on Thursday. Repolling being held in four polling centers of Naxal infested Gadchiroli to more Lok Sabha constituency in Maharashtra. Social Democrats party wins general elections in Finland. Indian squad for the upcoming Cricket World Cup to be announced today. And in IPL Delhi Capitals defeat Sunrisers Hyderabad by 39 runs at Hyderabad. With that we end the morning news. Have a nice day.